Have you noticed any areas around Metro Vancouver that are particularly stinky? Well, if you have, UBC researchers want to know all about it. There's been a, a sort of big research question that's been open and sort of unsolved for a long time about, you know, what is it about odor that might cause um, some of the health effects that people typically associate with um, experiencing poor odor, things like nausea or headache. A pair of researchers are asking the public to put their noses to work in an effort to track Vancouver's so-called smellscape. The goal here is to collect these community reported uh, odors as long as any, as well as anything else that they would like to potentially also report along with it. We have a question about health effects they've experienced. We have a question as well about um, whether or not you have the necessary financial me uh, means to meet your needs as well. So we can understand um, the relationship between odor on health, the relationship um, between people who are experiencing odor and potentially their socioeconomic status to see if this is an environmental justice issue in Vancouver. UBC researcher Naomi Zimmerman explains SmellVan is a web-based app that can be found at smell-vancouver.ca. To submit a smell, find the location of the smell on the map, enter the date you experienced it, describe the smell, and explain what actions you've taken because of it. There's a map on the website. Anyone can see it. It just shows um, some of the information shows, shows the location and the severity and the descriptors associated with the order. Um, none of the health or the economic information is publicly available, but there is actually a public map that is generated with these other reports that can be accessed anytime. Zimmerman explains SmellVan was developed in consultation with Metro Vancouver, but it does not replace the formal process of an air quality complaint. Within a day of its launch, there's already more than a dozen smell reports. Some note the scent of sewage, rotting eggs, and smoke. Essentially, it's a complementary tool um, to crowdsource some of this uh, information. Data is being collected for the next two years, so there's plenty of time to put your senses to work. In Vancouver, Miranda Fatour, City News.